McCaffrey running up the middle, running up the middle. And they're going to lose some on this play. tip but first make sure you like comment and subscribe hit that bell so don't miss a thing so you can become part of this 4 6 game family so today i got a uh, run defense i'm in the 4 6 playbook as usual um messing around with other playbooks but my favorite is always 4 6 um we're going to be in the 3 4 bear make sure you have good uh good D line uh, your best starters your, your starters or your best block shedders we're gonna get into some run defense I got Josh Sweat and Asan Reddick on the D line and of course Fletcher Cox um, and I got my linebacker you want to have good linebackers too that's important so the play we're gonna be looking at is cover three and I got my other controller here we're gonna get Nick Chubb, um, another another one to practice against is uh, Derrick Henry or Saquon Barkley or um, Ezekiel Elliott, and we're in the 49ers playbook against them. We're going to do a stretch, it's always a good example to test your run defense, so that's how it looks coming out. All you got to do is, if you got PlayStation R1 down on a left stick, right, and then you pinch, it's going to pinch your whole defense and you're just going to slant inside, and that's it, and then you're just going to use your, this one you know for sure, they're running the ball, I don't want you to get caught up and get burnt on, but if you have a good user, then you shouldn't worry, but is just a clean up come down and help stop the run in case the running back gets loose so let's start the play gonna come in gonna help stop that run right there I'm gonna show you uh, something you can do in case they want to flip on you on that weak side because you know you got that that bare front, that double eagle on that side. So, if they flip it on you, I'll show you what you gotta do. So, let's run it again. So, you see that corner is there. There's Slay to stop it. Because they, once you pinch it, they'll come down to the line of scrimmage. So, let's say they wanna flip it on you, right? You see how it's on that weak side right there? And let's see what will happen if you don't flip the defense. So you can you can get pressure like that and still stop the run. Let's see that quick hike you. You wasn't able to um, set up your adjustments. You can see be a little little harder to stop so let's let's get them to flip it and then let's also flip so you see now you got just a just a chess match you're just playing the game like they're playing the game all right so now you got a better chance of stopping the run right there all right let's see against um a toss i'll show you this against a toss And this will also be good against uh, against like single back because you know it's always harder with that full back there because they get the extra blocker. So, I'm 
offense, defense, crash inside, or slant inside, crash inside for them old man players. And then we are in that toss right there. I don't know why it flipped, but you were in that toss. <coughs> you using your safety. Do you see that? Easily shut that down. Let's show a replay about that. Just easily shut that down. So you see, automatically again, pressure right there. And look how look how quick the linebackers are reacting in this formation. Look, coming in at the cup black cu uh, cup back. That's the cup back linebacker right there. Right there. And and he just he just stops the flow of that run. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's uh, TJ Edwards right there. Alright. So let's say they, um, you make your adjustments, no problem, right? And then they flip it on you. See that? You have a better chance because they're going more into the outside. So all you gotta do is just flip it with them. Because that's what it is with 4 6 defense, especially bare fronts or just any bare front. You wanna try to make sure you're keeping that strong side there. There you go. And then you're there just to clean up. Just in case they get loose. Alright, yeah, also I had to add this one in um, into the video. This is also good against them goal line users. I'm finding a lot of goal line users. Usually those are the people that don't really know how to run the ball like that. So, uh, let's say they got power O in there. And then, um, this doesn't always be in the goal line, but power, um, halfback power G, let's put that in there. Is there a toss? It should be a toss. Okay, strong toss. What can we take out? Sting? Yeah. Alright, let's say, I mean, power O is usually what they run. Let's say they want to run power O. So this shuts this down. I'll put some clips in here um, and towards the end of the video so I can show you guys. And then they switch over to a dive. So this is Nick Chubb, you're gonna get him. You're gonna get him to fall forward. He's a bigger back, but it's gonna it's gonna slow that down. Just wanna get in there. There you go. So this is perfect for those goal line users. Yep, hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip. Um, make sure if you want to see more content like, content like this, you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you don't miss a thing. Become part of this 4 6 game family. And until next time, peace. Connect on that short field goal try. And no doubt about it, because they were counting on those plays today. McCaffrey running up the middle. And they're going to lose some on this play. They're knocked back to the 18. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And the big boys up. <laughs>
Bye. Bye.